Hello everyone. Um, I am going to show you how to eye color in anime eyes. Um, it's actually really simple and it's just a couple of steps and once you remember all of those steps it's super super easy to um, color in anime eyes. So I'm just gonna really quickly right here I'm just doing the line art showing you how I do my line art and I I kind of do slightly sketchy line art not super super clean um, I like that look in um, in drawing and art and everything um, so I don't do it super super clean you can do it however you want to this is just me kind of you know showing you how I color in how I shape the eyes how I you know color in the the eyelashes and everything like that because that's that can be kind of like not necessarily difficult to get down but it can kind of you know be hard to see you know where the eyelashes go when you're beginning when you're first starting out drawing anime eyes so <clears throat> yeah this is just line work you can skip over this if you don't care about how I do line work you know I don't I don't blame you <laughs> it's pretty boring um, but if you have any interest in you know how somebody goes about doing um, the line work for uh, anime eyes. I don't use the line work tool on Paint Tool Sci. Um, I don't think it's good practice to use it because n there aren't that many other programs. Like Photoshop doesn't have a line work tool. Like it does have, you know, uh, kind of that, you know, where um, you can select things like a line work tool, but it doesn't have the like you know, line work tool that Paint Tool Sci, is, Sci does. So, um, it kind of, I'm, I don't, I'm not necessarily saying that it's lazy to ink with the line work tool because it definitely, you know, it smooths things out really well and really helpfully, but it's, um, it can hinder you if you want to branch out into other, um, <clears throat> programs because, not all other programs have the line work tool. So anyway, it looks like I'm pretty much done. I guess I'm just cleaning up stuff in that one. Um, <clears throat> but um, after this, we're going to make a new layer, put it underneath the line work, and I'm going to go over that in just a little bit. But um, we're going to make a new layer, and that's going to be the base, the eye color base. And so just pick any color you want. I think I picked like a teal aqua kind of color because I want to make greenish blue eyes today just decided to um, more greeny but still with a little hint of blue so new layer and I wrote it down for you <laughs> and um, hmm. I just select use the magic selection tool and then bucket fill because it's, it's easy um, hmm. you don't have to worry about you know things being outside the lines obviously and then you do a new layer <clears throat> put that over um, and you do a clipping group clipping groups are so easy it's it's, it's a really helpful tool um, so use clipping groups get a slightly darker color um, for the next part and you see I'm having some difficulties drawing the line how I want it and I'm just doing this super quick so I'm not really making sure everything looks totally perfect and then draw the pupil, um, make sure they look semi-even, and then some lines around the iris. Then new layer, clipping group again, and then pick an even darker color. You know, don't. I I went into the kind of blue area here, and it's kind of like a denim blue color I picked here. Um, and go over that for the shading, and then new layer again, clipping group again. And this time, put it on the luminosity mode, and use your um, color from the first layer. And this is for the eye shinies to make the eyes all beautiful, and pretty. And you're gonna have another luminosity later, layer later, to make it even, you know, more shiny and pretty. So don't worry about that. And then um, you duplicate the second layer uh, with where you drew the um, pupil and place it above the luminosity layer and put it on the multiply mode um, so that'll you know kinda make the colors more vibrant and yeah have better depth and I put that you know with 75% um, opacity because I wanted still some of the bluish 
to come out. So then do another layer on top of that, clipping group, luminosity, first uh, or first layers color, and then just go into your um, shinies and you know kind of make it look more shiny, more pretty, and um, then you can have another layer and uh, put white, just regular white, to even enhance even more shininess. And then do another layer and, you know, get the pupil even more defined in there. And then I like to go in and, um, you know, put flecks of color and little dots and sparkles and shines to kind of make it, you know, look more magical and pretty because that's really what, that's really what you want to do when you're drawing anime eyes is you want to make, especially girl anime eyes, you want to make them look as beautiful and pretty as possible. <clears throat> so anyway, this is um, pretty much it in my tutorial. If you um, enjoyed the tutorial, if you learned anything from it, please like it, share it, and subscribe to my channel. Um, anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you learned something. I hope I taught you, you know, how to, just an easy kind of shortcut and how to make really pretty anime eyes and it doesn't take that much but they're super pretty and vibrant and they stand out okay thank you very much